Mondragon and its natural environment. From ancient times we have taken advantage of our mountains, forests, rivers and pastures. Collectors and hunters at the beginning, later on farmers, quarry workers, blacksmiths, millers. Nature has been the starting point of the development of all our activities. Taking into account the impact of our activities on nature, it has a surprising capacity of recovery. In the 34.2 square kilometers of Mondragon, we may find this nature mostly in its mountains, Udalaj, Murugain, Gurtsechiki. Undoubtedly, Udalaj is the environmental hallmark of Mondragon. It is a limestone pyramid whose origin is an old reef of 1,117 meters above sea level. And it has been classified as relevant natural environment. We can find the reasons for it in its special habitats. The Cantabrian Holm Oak Forest and the Lime Rock Formations. The Holm Oak Forest of Mediterranean origin has adapted to the maritime climate taking advantage of the drier and sunnier areas. Being so closed and impenetrable, it offers protection to a stealthy and varied fauna. From the 800 meters upwards, this forest vanishes and the bare and defiant limestone rock takes its place only dotted with isolated specimens of beech and yew tree. Rare species of flowers adapted to the hard life of the mountain dwell in the limestone pavement. The fauna of this area is made up mainly of cliff nesting birds, real mountain experts which dwell in the vertical limestone walls of Udalat. Although not relevant because of its environmental value, Mount Besaide, which marks the border between Kipuzkoa, Vizcaya and Alava, is the most emblematic place for the Basque mountaineering. In Mount Laragain, we can find the only existent Kermes oak in Gipuzkoa. This is a relative of the Holm oak and it is completely Mediterranean. The fact of its development in our municipality constitutes a botanical exception. Murugain, with its 778 meters of height, is an exceptional watchtower. Of a symbolic mythology and importance in history, not in vain, it is said to have given shelter to the dragon of the legend of Mondragon. And furthermore, in 1988, archaeological remains were found near its summit in the Iron Age. Gurtsechiki is an exceptional case. Since in 2009 the existent pine forest was pruned, the change in its appearance has been amazing. Several actions have been carried out in it. The logging has allowed the native holm oak tree to regrow. Pastures for livestock farming have also been created by the farmers Baserritarras of Mondragon, as well as the recovery of paths which have enabled a deeper knowledge of the botanical, landscaping and ethnographic value of the mountain. The surroundings of Echezarreta constitute more than interesting enclave from the botanical and leisure point of view. The map of the natural environment of Mondragon is completed with a network of parks of the municipality Santa Barbara, Monterron, Alday, Arruena and Hidalgo Basso. This last one, acquired in 1986 by the city council, has been replanted with a diversity of tree species for the delight of Mondragon inhabitants.